next speaker, Shri Sudhangshu Mani, General Manager, Retired IRSME, ICF Chennai, and Team Leader, Train 18. His assignments include General Manager, Integral Coach Factory Chennai, Chief Mechanical Engineer, Rail Wheel Factory Bangalore, Railway Advisor, the Embassy of India in Germany, etc. He had independently handled a large number of locomotive technology projects at both domestic and international levels. It would not be an exaggeration to state that his experience in the field of rolling stock engineering and technology is exceptional and unmatched. Mr. Mani is a fellow of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, London. He will be talking about the much talked about Train 18, India's first indigenous semi-high-speed train. Sir, I welcome you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin by talking about what is a train set. It's nothing but a semi-permanently coupled train without any locomotives except one or two exceptions in France where we have power units. And the equipment in modern train sets is all mounted under the board. That is from one cab to the other cab, the entire space is used for passenger amenities and no equipment, including for powering, air conditioning, lighting, is on top. It's all under the board, giving a vast space for passengers. The advantages are many. On a rough calculation, a 16-coach train, which would also require two power cars, makes it 18 coaches, and to achieve a speed of 160 plus or 160, you would need two locomotives. So it's a 20 rolling stock formation, can be replaced by 16 coaches. So it's definitely more energy efficient. Maintainability is much better. The entire train gets maintained in one depot instead of detaching the locomotive and taking it to a local shed. And otherwise, there is no reversal requirement at the stations and saves a lot of journey time. Because you have the freedom to pack power equipment all over the train, the acceleration you can get in a train set is far more than a local haul train of same designation and power. Wide space, wide gangways, you can take the train at one end and move to the last one without having to negotiate a rickety vestibule that we have in our trains. Any railways worth the name and even many developing railways to make only train sets for this range of passenger operations. And we have been talking about it for 25, 30 years. So why is it that we never had one? So the reason is there on your screen. So there is an ownership for the train, there is an ownership for the locomotive. So now that everything is into one, who gets the ownership? So we fight our turf war and let Indian railways and country go to hell. Then of course, there has been a lobby to import train sets. Now import would mean every train set of 16 coach, let's say, would cost around 200 crore plus. Tendering showed that unless you order 20, nobody would show interest. Then a technology fee, because there would be a technology transfer involved, 5,000 crores for 20 train sets. Good that it never materialized, but that was the route being taken. In 2016, on my request, I was posted as the general manager of Integral Coach Factory. Now, this is a factory set up as a dream project of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the then prime minister, for self-reliance in making of coaches railway coaches which were hitherto imported. This is the factory today, it's gone through a lot of expansion. So the dream was very good. For a dream to become vision, you should have action. Vision without action it will remain a dream, as Joel Barker has said. In 1950s, Chinese premier Chow En Lai came to Integral Coach Factory and he wrote here, this is a place for all Orients to be proud of. And I want all Chinese engineers to come and learn. And 60 years hence, there is a beeline to go to China and learn because we are so far behind. So that's the status of the place I joined. A wonderful dream, but the vision gone awry. It did hold a world record for making the most number of coaches in the world. It should be touching about 60,000 by now. But there was a certain hootspa, technical hootspa learning over the years in the team. I was fortunate. What I got as a good fortune was the best team I could ever ask for cutting across departments. The factory is now the biggest factory in the world by a very large margin. 
the nearest one in perhaps in China is around 2300, 2400, and is all set to go to 4,000 coaches a year. So, you know, Picasso has said that art is a way to wash away the dirt of everyday life from your soul. And most of you are engineers, right? So the engineers are deficient because at least in India, the education you go through makes you a two plus two is equal to four expert, but you are nowhere near understanding the finer things of life, art, literature. I have tried to meld visual art, sculpture from metal scrap on a very large scale in Integral Coach factory. And if you go to the factory, you would wonder whether it's a factory in an art gallery or an art gallery in a factory. It's all about creativity. A very feudal organization that railways is, you have people as you come to an office, a series of attenders waiting there to pick up your briefcase because a railway officer does not know how to carry a briefcase. Even I don't know, that's why I gave up on briefcase right in the first year of my service, I always carry a bag. Is that a professional organization where a series of people are there to open a car door for you or pick up your bag? cannot march into 21st century with this kind of feudal culture. But we tried to bring in some openness among staff. And uh, this is just an example of all 11,500 staff, photographs put in a tree in alphabetical order. And it has been an endeavor of people to come here and look for their photographs and then bring their family and take a selfie or a family photographs here. Uh, the kind of pride it instilled in them helped us in the story I'm going to tell you. I'll begin my story which is not very long, it's very brief. With this slide, as a citizen, especially in India, we have so many concerns because most of the things don't work. It's all right to have concerns, but what we forget is that small dot there. Shikwa is zulmat shab se kahi behtar hota. Shikwa kehte hain complaint ko zulmat darkness shab evening ya night. शिकवाए जुल्मत शब्द से कहीं बेहतर होता कि अपने हिस्से की एक शमा जलाते जाते कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट डार्कनेस इज फाइन बट वी फॉरगेट दैट स्मॉल लिटिल लैंप दैट वी कैन लाइट दैट्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ माय स्टोरी सर was the time to walk the talk. No internecine warfare come together, make it possible. This was a time for a dream that I had for 25 years. And if I could not bring it to reality at this time, then no one would ever. And I found, I talked about the technical chutzpah among the staff, the team member, the audacity, the, the will to do something out of the box in spite of the limitations. And there I gave this message. हमारे उत्तर प्रदेश मुरादाबाद के एक शायर हुए उन्होंने कहा है इस लव से मोहब्बत का अदना सा फसाना है दिस वर्ड लव हैज अ वेरी स्मॉल स्टोरी इस लव से मोहब्बत का अदना सा फसाना है सिमटे तो दिले आशिक फैले तो जमाना है इफ इट श्रिंक्स इट्स नथिंग बट दी हार्ट ऑफ अ लवर बट इफ इट एक्सपैंड it's the world. And believe me, even in this feudal setup, these things can make a difference. That openness, a contrived openness to go and embrace people who are moving away from you because they are dirty on the shop floor. And our workers on the shop floor are not very clean because of the kind of work environment we give them. So here I was with a dream and a vision and fortune. Fortune because I was in the only factory in India which could make a train set. Fortune because I had a wonderful team. Fortune because the design and the manufacturing team was rearing to go. All the general managers of Indian Railways have been empowered like much more than a CEO of a private company. There's no bar on what you can order. This kind of empowerment, I am not even sure whether it, it is there with a unit head anywhere in India, what the uh, production unit general managers and open light general managers have today. What an opportunity. But still, to make these train sets where 
5,000 crore uh, import cases are floating around for five years. You need a sanction from Railway Board to make these train sets. And as usual, Railway Board may well, proposal ICF ki quality is bad. They say it's like this. Publicity is there. It's going to be a corruption. 5,000 crore versus 200 crore. But it's still corruption. I didn't show the import lobby. Fortunately, Mr. Mittal was the chairman. God bless his soul. He's no more. I told him that I won't make anything. If you stay my GM, you think I can make it, then give me the sanction. He said, yeah, I know you can make it. But uh, your member is not agreeing, this fellow is not agreeing, that fellow is not agreeing. I said, you are the chairman of Railway Board. And I was abroad the day the, that in 2017 the budget had come in uh, April. And I learned that the project is being dropped. I was in India the next day, I went to Mr. Mittal straight to his house. I said, Mr. Chairman, you know I can make it. Now I'm offering that I'll make it before you retire. I lied. He was retiring in June or July of 18. It was just impossible to, for something which was not even on drawing board to make it in 15 months. But I lied. I said, so that impressed him a little bit. But once again, God bless his soul. I said, I am not leaving. I am grabbing your feet. By the time I reached Chennai that evening, I had the letter. So the first enabler for making this train was the late Mr. A.K. Mittal, the chairman of railway board at that time. Can I have some claps for him? <laughs> Next day, I hold this meeting. I said, Bahut baat hui thi. capability hai over this uh, technology that you have learned through superior intelligence, trying more of the same things here and there. You think you are capable. We can make it ourselves. Yes, we can make it ourselves. But there is one problem. नहीं चली कहीं 200 करोड़ का खर्चा होगा फेल हो गई कौन पकड़ा जाएगा किसको चार शीट हो जाएगी our doubts are traitors as Shakespeare has said in Measure for Mission which make us lose the good we might often by fearing to attempt गिरते हैं शेर सवार ही मैदाने जंग में वो तिफल क्या गिरे जो घुटनों के बल चले said, the days of you crawling on your feet are over. You are a mounted soldier. We'll spend this money, we'll turn out this product. If it works, all credit to you. If it doesn't work, all discredit to me. We'll go ahead, your doubts are over today. It worked. There's a lot of people who don't contribute. So one good thing you can do is be very, very generous with those who deliver. And that's a principle my team followed and I'm thankful they did. That's another key to the success. Don't find excuses. As you can see, the excuses can be worse than the fault itself. No rolling stock. I'm not talking about wagons. No coach or locomotive ab initio has been designed in India. So this you are trying to attempt and if you start finding excuse here and there it won't work. Just own up. So much bandied word is transfer of technology. I say it is an oxymoron because having dealt with so-called transfer of technology with every single rolling stock of Indian Railways. EMD locomotives, LHP coaches, coat walled cranes, ABB locomotives and so on. I have dealt with all. Technology, ladies and gentlemen, is a matter of your heart and your mind. It resides in the mind of the creator. You can transfer documents, drawings, specifications, test plans, validation plans, all documentation. You can come and train people. You can give lectures to them. But you cannot transfer the heart and the mind of the creator. Technology has to be created. Technology cannot be transferred. Everyone felt, the entire team, that this is something we are talking of 180 kilometers, upgradable to 200 if we are lucky, but we aim for 180 and we want to create it entirely here. Good or bad, we are going to do it without any transfer of technology 
entirely on our own. We have not been able to put, let, let alone a traction motor, even an alternator on the LH bo LHP bogey. And here we are talking of designing a bogey which can go to 180 and later 200 kilometers, accepting traction motors. So we made a matrix and we knew where we cannot do ourselves, but we don't want any transfer of technology. I, since I had spent time in Germany, I knew there are consultants in Europe who do these things for the majors. We went for three consultancies looking at our matrix and the three consultancies for the bogey design, better exterior and the interiors. 10 crores for each contract. What would have cost thousands of crores in a TOT? This kind of project takes 36 to 42 months from drawing board, concept drawing board to delivery of the prototype out from the factory. So you are going to retire in December 18. We have 21 months. What will happen if we are left midday? We have only one solution. So we have not reached the standard of engineering brain of the West, but we still can work hard. We'll work at day and night. We have to make sure that we turn out the train in 2018 itself. And to remind each and everyone that the train is going out in 2018, we said we are going to call this train, Train 18. And as luck would have it, we turned it out in October 18, which was precisely 18 months since we began. And uh, what we did in this 18 months was only a follow-up of these three, four things I told you. Everything fell into place. The train has completed more than six months of service. For the first time, any new rolling stock, without field trial, mind you, had gone into service because of the urgency of inauguration. Thank you very much.